never know just how much I love you. Ba 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 ba. You'll never know just how much I care. How base, how bad, how less. And if I tried, I still couldn't hide my love for you. You ought to know, for haven't I told you so? A million or more. <laughs> hey, hey. Yes, sir. Excuse me, I'm not interfering with your work, am I? No. Do you mind if I go on with mine? No, go right ahead. Thanks a lot. I mean, uh, let's not have any more of that scubba-doo, scubba-doo, huh? Eh? <laughs> I guess I just got swept away. Yeah, well... You know how it is with us entertainers. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy! Who is that character? Muriel? That girl you hired, whatever her name is. What is that? What's going on here? Oh, honey, I hope you didn't say anything to upset her. She's liable to quit and help us so hard to get. She'll do me a big favor, right. she I got work Please, to do here. just be patient. Louise will be back in a few days. What is that now? Holy smokes. I'm never going to get any work done. Just never, never, never. Hey, you Danny Williams? Yes, I am. Here you are. Well, here I are. The <laughs> cats you ordered. The cats I ordered. Kathy! <laughs> Did you order cats? Of course not. <gasps> they are cats. Hey, we're not allowed to have cats in this apartment, buddy. You got the wrong address. Those aren't ours. Take your cats back. They ain't my cats, buddy. They're all paid for, so they're your cats. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't understand who would send us all those cats. Wait a minute. Aww. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where do I open this week? At the Copa. And who runs the Copa? Charlie Halpert. Who is without question the most fiendish practical jokester of all times. Aww. This is his idea of a Aww. joke. Once, I'd like to play his club without having to worry about his practical jokes. He's hasn't got water squirting on his lapel. He's got your shoes nailed to the floor. <laughs> oh, that guy, I'm telling you, it's not safe working for him. Oh, honey, I don't believe it. You don't believe it? Did I tell you what he did to me in Chicago? Mm -mm. Oh, he pulled the dirtiest trick ever. Oh. He snuck into my hotel room and spilled a couple of boxes of tapioca powder in my bathtub. <laughs> I came to take a bath. I poured it in the hot water. I jumped in and whoop, I was up to here in tapioca. <laughs> I felt like a razor. <laughs> What's kind of funny? How'd you like to ha have to eat your way out of a bathtub full of tapioca? <laughs> How do you like this guy with the cats and everything else? This is really... I'll get even with him. I'll get even if it's the last thing I do. Oh, honey, now you're got going to be so childish as to stoop to his level. What stoop to his level? When it comes to playing trick or treat, kid, I can be just as fiendish as the next fella. Don't worry no, about honey, that. Honey, I mean it. Don't give him the satisfaction of stooping to his level. Oh, I'm going to get even. I don't care. Oh, honey, there's the doorbell. What the door? <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot to give you this. It goes with the cats. Oh, oh, thank you. What is it? A six-month supply of mice. Oh. <laughs> Very much. They're, uh... I don't care when. Is? I don't care how, but you've got to get back in that Charlie Howard. I will. I will. Don't you worry about it, honey. Here, you get rid of these. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the cats. Oh, okay. honey, the yellow <laughs> You've got to think of something to get even with that practical jokester, Charlie. Hey, how about... How about this? Supposing we put some glue in his aftershave lotion. It, it, it doesn't have clash. You know, the, the spark, you need to be a real heel. Nah. Let's not give up. We'll think of something. Daddy, Daddy, we've what? got something exciting to tell you. What? What's so exciting? We found a great new talent for you. New talent? Who? Yeah. Where? In, Where? in the kitchen. Huh? Yeah, Muriel. Muriel's loaded with talent, Daddy. When you hear her, she's dynamite. Yeah, Sacco! Sacco? Oh, Daddy, wait till you hear this. You're gonna love this. Yeah? Get ready, Muriel. Come on, sit down, Daddy. Get ready to make with the imitations. imitations. You're gonna love this, Daddy. She's dynamite. Yeah, she's Sacco! Go ahead, Muriel. 
Uh, my first imitation is that of a goldfish swimming in a bowl. <clears throat> <laughs> My next imitation is that of a typewriter. Bing! <laughs> Bing! <laughs> How about that? Sacco! My next imitation... That's very nice. How about doing an imitation of a housemaid and uh, just maid in the house, huh? Oh, well, you see, my impressions are really just for the kids, oh. but I'm really a great entertainer. I can sing and dance. Yeah, oh, right. look, I'll do a time step for you. Uh, uh, I, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's kind of an old building. <laughs> well, uh, if you're worried about the floor, we can go down to the basement. <laughs> you do that again, we'll be there before we know it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, you know, my friends say that I'm better than most professionals. I, I'm sure you are, but I'm very busy. I've got work to do, Alice. You see, all I need is a break. Yeah. That's all I need. Everything else I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, now, look, I'll tell you, I, if I hear of an opening or anything, I'll certainly let you, you know. You will. You mind getting the lunch ready now? Gee, thanks. Not at all. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you like that? A maid that wants to be in show business, why is it that everybody that works for us is stage struck? Once I'd like to hire somebody that doesn't want to be an entertainer. When I get a plumber, I don't just get a plumber. I get a plumber that can play Nola on the kitchen pipes. <laughs> All he needs is a break. You know, we just thought you'd know somebody who could use someone like Muriel. What are you, agents for Muriel, you kids now? Sure, because she's Sacco! Oh, you stop with that Sacco already? Why don't you take her down to the club and put her in your show? At the Copa? Sure, why not? Oh, that's all I'd have to do, is take Muriel and put her on at the Copa. Poor Charlie Helper, he turned blue. <laughs> what a beautiful color for him. <laughs> oh, how about that? Right under our noses that we didn't realize. Isn't that great? And he happens to be looking for a girl singer. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Oh, buddy. You mean you're going to get Muriel a job at the club? Yeah, but don't you tell her about it. Don't you say a word about it to her. Do you understand? I promise. Not one word. Me too. That's right. Don't you say anything we'll get it said. Oh, Daddy, thank you. Daddy, I don't understand. Good. Daddy? What? I don't understand. What? First, you don't like Muriel, and then you do. Well, son, you know how it is. It takes an entertainer a little time to kind of get to you. All of a sudden, just like that, I realized Muriel was the one thing I'd been looking for. <laughs> You're supposed to be a top maitre d', you know? I shouldn't have to tell you this. Yes, Mr. Helper. I mean, after the show, have your captains give them the check and tell them to get out. Turnover, huh? I'll do my best, Mr. Helper. Yeah, well, don't be sore now. I mean, I'm doing this for you. Well, who's sore? You're not, huh? No. Shake. <laughs> man, oh, man, why do you do these things? Uh, it's just a gag. It's a hand buzzer. It can't... Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Danny. Danny, I'll take it easy. It was just a gag. It was just a gag. Kind of funny, too, huh? Six months supply of my son. <laughs> Huh? Huh? What a, what a mind to think up a thing like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 a twisted mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm, I'm a sick man, Danny. You can't hit a sick man. Relax. I'm not even sore. I'm smiling. Can't you see? You're not sore. Not sore at all. What's why you think I've lost my sense of humor? No. I know about you, Charlie. I know why you pull these things. You gotta relieve the tensions. A nightclub racket is tough. Especially at a time like this when you're knocking yourself out trying to find a girl, see? Oh, Danny, I'm glad you see it that way because, believe me, I'm knocking myself out and getting nowhere. I know you are. Now, let's sit down and talk it over because this is much my problem as is yours. Yeah. Now, tell me, uh, have you gone over the list? Uh, yeah. How about Carol Channing? Booked into the plaza. Lena Horn. Shea Perry in Chicago. Patty Page. Busy with television. I got it. Yeah. I knew the girl. Oh, no, no. Too late to grab her. But too, too late to grab who? Yeah, well, what's the difference? She's not available. It's too late to grab her. Maybe not. Maybe it isn't too late to grab her. Who should I grab? Who's to grab who? <laughs> who? Muriel Schultz, that's who. <coughs> Muriel Schultz? Yeah. <laughs> but why eat your heart out? She's not available. Eat my heart out? I never even heard of her. I, I wouldn't even know what I was grabbing. <laughs> you never heard of Muriel Schultz? No. 
Charlie, don't let anybody hear you say that. They, they'll think you started in the business yesterday. Never heard. Oh, I should have known you're up with the jokes again, huh? <laughs> but I'm not joking, Danny. Who is she? Oh, come on, Charlie. Muriel Schultz is only the girl that they booked into the Sands Hotel for four weeks. The Sands? Four weeks? That's right. You know what Jack and Todd had to do to get her? Uh-uh. Cancel out Dean Martin. <laughs> Cancel Dean Martin for Muriel Schultz? <laughs> but let's forget it. She's not available. Now, let's think of somebody else. Wait a minute. Not so fast. Not so fast. Tell me more about this Muriel. What's she like? Is she a looker? Looker, Charlie. <laughs> when she walks into a room, you can't see anything else. <laughs> you mean, you mean, uh, you mean she's got a lot of, uh... A lot. <laughs> got so much, she makes Bridget Bardot look like skin and bone. <laughs> Wowee! This sounds, this sounds like the answer to my prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what a pity. Too bad she's not available. If you'd have had this conversation with me yesterday, I could have gotten her for you. What, we're too late to get her? Why should one day make such a difference? Well, I mean, she's gone away on a trip. She had a few weeks before opening in Vegas, and she's feeling a little frail and run down. <laughs> Thought if she'd lie around in the sun, she could uh, get her weight back. So I put her on a train this morning to Miami. Well, stop her at Washington and fly her back. Danny, I got a club to operate. Danny, how can you expect me to keep going without Muriel Schultz? Danny, think, think of all the things I've done for you, huh? I am thinking, I am thinking. Danny, Danny, you gotta do this for me. This is me, Charlie Halper, your pal, your best friend, asking you, begging you. Okay, Charlie. I'll do it for you. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. Hello, Mabel. This is Charlie. Get me George. Danny, I'll never forget you for this. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> Hello, George. Charlie, listen, George, I want you to start a big publicity campaign. Yeah, stop planning teasers and all the columns about a new personality I'm grabbing off for the Copa. Huh? Only Muriel Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Muriel Schultz? <laughs> George, don't let anybody hear you say that. They'll think you just got into the business yesterday. <laughs> Get on. <laughs> you should have seen him. He patted there on his knees. Danny, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. He says, how can I run a nightclub without Muriel Schultz? <laughs> I'd have given anything to see it. Oh, it was beautiful. But the real revenge will come when he sees what he's bought. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't honey, wait for that. You're not going to let him see her. Now, Danny, that would be the cruelest thing you could do to that girl. Oh, no. Give me credit for some sense, will you, baby? I wouldn't do anything to hurt the woman. I'm going to take a picture of her. That's all. He's not going to see her, really. Just a picture, see? I'll say to her, I'll say, look, Muriel, the kids want something to remember you by, so how about a couple of snapshots? So I take a snap, and in one minute, I take the picture out of the camera, run down and show it to Charlie, and I say, Charlie, here's your big star. Get this picture in the paper. He takes a look, turns blue, and faints. <laughs> and I have the pleasure of pouring water in his face. Mixed with tapioca. You can bet me. Look, we'll get our revenge. Muriel will know nothing about it. She won't be hurt at all. Oh, this is going to be one of... The only one that's going to be affected at all will be Charlie, who'll still be laying there. I hope. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, I'll get it, honey. Huh? Charlie, oh, Muriel. What have you done to yourself? <laughs> like it? I went for the whole works. Permanent, facial, everything. I want to look right for my opening. Your opening? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Williams, I don't know how to thank you. What? When the kids told me what you were doing for me, I, I just couldn't believe it. You mean the kids told you? Oh, those little monsters. Oh, oh, don't scold them. I wormed it out of them. I could see that they were hiding something from me, and I'm glad I did because I had to have time to do things. I had a million things to do. Oh, you know how it is when you, when you finally get something that you've been waiting for all of your life. Yeah. Why, the day I came to work for you was was really my lucky day. Oh, 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 Mrs. Williams, is it all right if I use the sewing machine? I've got to alter the gown that I bought. You mean you, you bought a new dress? Oh, yeah, for the opening. Oh, it's so beautiful. Beautiful, it ought to be beautiful. You should see what it cost. It took practically all the money I had. You, you, you shouldn't have gone to that expense. Oh, I don't mind. Why, 
I've been saving for this moment for a long time. This is the big break I've been waiting for. It could be the beginning of everything. Besides, I... I want to look just right so that you'll be proud of me. Why, I wouldn't let you down for anything. Uh, well, I guess I better get started on my dress. Um, as usual, I gotta let it out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the kids just couldn't resist telling her. Oh, Danny, what have we done? What have we done? We've pulled a practical joke on Charlie Helper. It'll kill him. <laughs> kill Muriel, too, but... So what? She's expendable. She's only a human being. Oh, Danny. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I should have known the kids would blab their heads off. What are we going to do? What? There's only one thing to do, baby. I gotta tell her. Oh, it'll, it'll break her heart. Better I break her heart than the audience, huh? Oh, this is awful. Oh, I hate practical jokes. Someone's a cinch to get hurt. Danny, wait a minute. What? Do you have to tell her? Sweetheart, what else can I do? I can't put her on, can I? This is real life, honey, not a movie. This is not a picture where a maid comes out of a kitchen, steps onto a stage, makes a big hit, and everybody lives happily ever after. Muriel? Yes, sir? Could you come down a minute, please? I'll be right down. Well, I guess you're doing the right thing, but I'm sure glad it's your job and not mine. Yes, sir? Uh, Muriel, um, uh, sit down, won't you? Oh, Look, uh, Muriel, I I've got something to tell you. I, I, believe me, I don't like telling you this, but it's the only honest thing to do. And first of all, I want you to know that I never meant you any harm, that I didn't want to hurt you in any way. Now, I know you're all excited about going on at the Copa, but I'm afraid you're, you're... Well, look, you see, people outside of show business think that show business is a, is a highway paved in gold, and it's not true. It's a highway, all right, but it's strewn with the broken hearts of the kids who never made it. Uh, look, it's a tough road, and it isn't just talent, you know. It, takes talent and timing and luck. You've got to be at the right place at the right time with the right material. One of these elements is missing. You're, you're lost. Now, the Copa is one of the classiest spots in the country. Audience is tough. You gotta have it. You go on unprepared. And it's suicide. Why, you could scar yourself for life. So... Mr. Williams, I, I know exactly what you're trying to say. You do? I won't let you down. What time is my first show? Eight thirty. I'll be there. Don't be late. It's me, Danny. Is she ready? Yes. Yes, she's ready. But she's scared stiff, and so am I. Well, nothing to be afraid of. Now, listen, has Charlie seen her yet? No, he knocked on the door, and I wouldn't let him in. Good girl, fine, fine. Now, listen, everything is going to be all right. No, I'll put her on, see? And the minute it looks like the ceiling is going to cave in on her, I'll run out, I'll start to dance around with her, I'll do a couple of jokes, I'll fool around with the trumpet, you know, and they'll think it's part of my new comedy act. Yeah. Everything will work fine, don't worry. Yeah, and if it doesn't... Don't worry, I'll shoot myself. <laughs> don't worry, I'll good out and go in and take your seat now, honey. All right. At least you have a friendly face to look at and applaud like crazy, will you? Well, you well, let me go. Let, let me take one look, no, Danny. No, nothing doing. You can't see her. Not now. Danny, Danny, I've been in this business 30 years. Something like this I never heard of. I mean, the girl is on next, and I've never, never even seen her yet. I'm sorry, Charlie. You see, she's uh, she's superstitious. That's what it is. She's superstitious and doesn't like for the boss to see her before the first show. I just want to see her. I don't want to marry her. Charlie. 
Take my word for it. Don't worry. Don't say that. Don't say that. When anybody says don't worry, that means only one thing. I gotta worry. <laughs> now I know I gotta take a look. I can't see her now, I'm Danny. telling you. Danny, what are we doing? Unveiling a new missile? Huh? What? <laughs> What's the secret? Don't ever let you down. Don't you worry yeah, about a thing, buddy. Everything is gonna be fine. Nothing's now, wrong. Nothing is wrong. Can I see what I'm buying? No, listen. Please. I would like... Hi, Mr. Williams. Uh, no autographs now, lady. Some other time. No autographs, lady, please. Yeah. Danny, look, oh, I would Mr. like to Williams, see... Williams, I don't want your autograph. Please, no autographs. This is Muriel, don't you remember me? Well, Muriel's you're... show? Muriel, please. I'm yeah. trying to talk to Mr. Muriel. Muriel? <laughs> you're, you're, you're Muriel? Yeah. Muriel Schultz? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> sleep a wink My mind was wandering All I did was think The way that I've been treated Would drive a woman to drink Come you do me like you do Why do you make me feel so blue I ain't done nothing to you Now treat me right or else just let me be I can beat you doing what you do to me How come you do me like you do How come you do me like you do? How come you do me like you do, do, do? How come you do me like you do? I ain't done nothing to you. Now treat me right or else just let me be. I can beat you doing what you're doing to me. How come you do me like you do, do, do? How come you do me like you do? Sullivan says about her. Wait till you read what Lenny Lyons says. Yeah, and how, how, how about Winchell here and Earl Wilson? They're all great. Oh, well. You know, you know, Danny, for a minute that last night, I thought this was all a big rib, you know, that you were getting back at me for all the practical jokes I played on you. Earl, you thought that of me? <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself even to have thought such a thing of a man, you know, of your stature. I, tell me, Danny, how did you find this girl? Well, you know me, Charlie, I have a nose for talent. <laughs> yeah, but such a big talent. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Excuse me. Danny, you know, I, 